Welcome back to the office at Whitetail Ridge, everyone. And today I wanted to take a moment to talk about car batteries and using them in a solar system. Can you do it? And is it smart? The short answer of it is, is yes, you can do it. I have done it. A lot of people do it. A lot of people typically that are just getting started into solar and not sure if they want to continue with it or exactly certain how it's going to work out will typically use car batteries. Now, there are a few things that I will recommend along the way here, and that is that if you are going to use car batteries, typically speaking, you are going to want to find batteries that are of the same class, whether it be a 27, a 24, a 31, whatever it might be, you're going to want to try and keep them sized the same and if at all possible brand specifically matched for like whatever whatever brand you can find i particularly when i started out doing this wasn't sure if i wanted to spend a lot of money on batteries or if i was even going to enjoy using solar if it was going to be worth it in my opinion so i went down to my local scrapyard and i managed to find marine batteries which are more of a deep cycle battery and they just so happen to be interstates and i found 14 of them by chance that were decent enough i had to kind of refurb them in a way clean them out and get a lot of the junk out of them and, and restart them but i had 14 of them and they were all exactly the same interstate marine batteries and i used that particular set of 14 for a period of a year before I started having any real issues with them. Now, ideally, that's what you're going to do. If you can't do that and you're just getting any random battery that you can find, try to keep them as closely sized as possible. Again, if you're going to go this route, I'm not going to advocate one way or another that you should or you should not. Just be smart about the stupid things you do and make sure that you don't have expanded batteries or that they're they're leaking in any way because that's that's the biggest deal i did have one leaky battery that i ended up having to swap out and it was a bit of a pain in the butt it made a mess everywhere and ended up destroying a little bit of stuff so either way making sure that you have good decently good batteries you should take a voltmeter with you obviously and check them out this one i checked it earlier and this this battery is absolutely junk it's just a battery i had laying around it was like 1.5 volts or something like that but when you're checking your batteries at the scrap yard or wherever you're getting them from um you can you you want to keep it as close to the same on every single battery that you check out and quite honestly, a 12.2 to a 12.3 is where ideally you're going to probably find a used battery and you want to stick right there and have them as close as you possibly can because the balance between the batteries is going to greatly affect how long you can get usage, accurate, good usage out of those batteries. And, you know, for multiple other reasons, just keeping, keeping the, the batteries alive longer is a big one. But keeping the voltage about the same is where you're going to want to be. Keeping the battery type, brand, and size as close to the same as possible is another big deal. But as far as actually working and not creating any kind of issues or anything like that, honestly, I, I didn't see the big deal with everyone um, just complaining about, oh, don't use car batteries or anything like that. Uh, it's just it's like a big no-no in the solar realm you start mentioning car batteries and people will absolutely lose their minds but you can get as long as you source your batteries from a good place and check them out and don't mind doing a little bit of maintenance you know checking water levels and, and stuff like that you can get away with uh you know using these batteries for a short term period like year or so from my experience and save yourself some money where you can then upgrade and actually get good quality batteries because that's exactly what I did. And it worked for me. I found out that I absolutely loved solar. I got by on, I think I spent, <clears throat> excuse me, 
on my batteries at the junkyard i want to say i spent at that time which has been a a few years ago like 10 years ago now um right around 10 to 15 dollars per battery which you're essentially paying a little bit over lead scrap weight is what you're doing but that's what i did and it worked out just fine for me for a year and another thing though is if if i had to pick going straight car batteries even less ideal if you can get yourself into a good decent match set of deep cycle marine batteries you're going to be a lot happier with the uh, with the um outcome and the overall process because they're just going to last a little bit longer give you a little bit less headache car batteries and even marine batteries just aren't designed the same they have much thinner plates on the inside they wear out very very quickly by comparison to actual deep cycle batteries and one of the things that you'll find if you go ahead and open these batteries up to, to clean them refurb them change out the liquid or whatever so you take these caps off and if you go in and actually try to clean these, get some kind of pressurized water very carefully, use eye protection and everything. Because if you get this acid on your skin or in your eyes, you're going to absolutely hate life. But what I did was I went in and removed these caps and I rinsed it out with a garden hose and then kind of somewhat pressurized with a regular garden nozzle and helped get the, the chunks of the degrading plates out of there so that way they're not connecting and you know creating a, a an arc that they're not supposed to be creating inside the battery it will also help your battery life if you need to do that i did particularly do that and go through and buy proper battery acid and replace the acid in the batteries mainly to make me feel better and when i did it i got told that i wasted all kinds of money on battery acid and i didn't need to do that and acid never goes bad whatever everyone's allowed their opinion i did it for me and that was the only reason why i did it was because it made me feel better you don't have to do that but the the long story short here on car batteries is that yes you can get away with it yes they do work you don't want to discharge them too far i think the furthest that i went on discharging mine at any given point in time was a lot further than what it should have been i think i actually did a 50 percent discharge on them and that's really again not ideal and it, it did cause my batteries to go bad but again i was pushing my system as hard as i possibly could to kind of learn it and figure out what worked and what didn't work so for used batteries car batteries will work deep cycle marine batteries are a little bit better and probably more ideal if you're going to choose that route and you can get into them fairly cheap the only thing outside of that you need is obviously your cables and connectors in order to get everything wired up properly and then picking whether or not you're going to run 12 or 24 volt or 48 volt even i did notice that when i use car batteries or again deep cycle marine batteries that i had the interstates I think they were, um, what was it? It was like model 27 or something to that effect. <clears throat> I'm pretty certain that's what they were. And when I wired mine in 12 volt, I noticed that I would lose a lot more power, a lot quicker. So I actually bumped up and got, got a, a Renogy. I forget. I think it was a Rover or Renogy Rover, um, charge controller, and actually it could go back and forth 12 or 24 volt and i experimented back and forth with 12 and 24 and found that 24 just seemed to be a little bit more consistent it lasted a little bit longer and i think not that i'm a, a science expert here or an electronics expert or anything like that but i think it had a lot to do with uh, by increasing the voltage you're lowering the amperage and the draw and everything off of your batteries themselves so in a way you're kind of prolonging the life of a system that isn't designed ideally for this but you can make it work i did not attempt 48 i i did i didn't want to jump up into spending that amount of money but again long story short is that if, if you're going to do it i would personally wire them into 24 volt use deep cycle marine batteries if at all possible 
keep them appropriately matched as far as brand and size goes and do not forget to check your voltage and keep everything within a point ideally they'll be exactly the same but if you can keep them within a point and over 12 preferably 12.2 to 12.3 in my opinion you're going to have a lot better results and you can probably get away with using them for at least a year again this is my opinion solar people are going to hate me for posting this up but if you're in a pinch and trying to get started or even just wanting to experiment i would recommend doing that as far as an experiment and seeing what you like and whether or not it's for you it may not be for you either way thanks for watching please like subscribe comment we appreciate everything you do and thanks for watching everyone have an amazing night